All right, lately we've been getting a lot of questions in the forum for whatever reason. Um, they come in waves, as Daryl says, about how to install repaints with the Repaint Manager. Uh, I use Windows 7 Professional Edition, and uh, basically all I did went to the forum already, and I downloaded uh, one of the repaints from the Flight Simulator X Winglet files, uh, John Tavendale's. Uh, Austrian repaint and there it is right there um, what I do to show you how to get it here basically when you download it you're getting a zip file if you don't know what a zip file is uh, it's just a compressed file basically there's uh, raw files RAR and uh, zip files uh, that's basic computer knowledge if you don't know that then you know well anyways once you download your file, you're going to have to take the file that is inside of it, which is a going to be either a LDX file or LDS, as in SAM, file. Uh, LDS is for Flight Simulator 9 or Flight Simulator 2004, and Flight Simulator uh, LDX is for Flight Simulator X or Flight Simulator 10, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you got to know which file you downloaded. In this case, I did download a Flight Simulator 10 file, so it will be an LDX file. Now, to properly put it in the place it's got to be to make it work in the Repaint Manager, that was a mouthful, go to uh, wherever you have it installed. On my computer, I have it installed in my C drive, and Flight Simulator X is installed in its own folder here, FSX. Uh, there's many different places people have it installed. Uh, if you're using Windows 7, a lot of people have it in this program files x86 Microsoft games flight simulator X folder um, I find it best to install it straight to the hard drive uh, then you don't have to worry about all the permission stuff that Microsoft installs so anyways go to flight simulator X folder once you're in there wherever it is it will look similar to this not exactly but similar to this um, you're going to go into your sim objects folder where you keep your aircraft Go to the airplanes and find your level D 763 uh, folder. Uh, this is a winglet repaint that I downloaded, so we're going to go to the winglet folder and you will install it to the downloads folder. Make sure I don't have it in here already. I do not. Good. So you install it to the downloads folder. So, a lot of people like to right click, run WinZip, extract to, and all that stuff. I don't. I just double click the file and it opens WinZip or whatever program you use to open it. It'll usually open it just like this. You can see your file right here. Um, and you're just going to drag it into that downloads folder. Done. Close, close. Don't need those anymore. Downloads folder. There's the file there, Austrian LDX. So all we got to do now is uh, run the repaint manager. I go ahead and run mine from here because I'm already here. Uh, it's always a good practice. I have my stuff set to run as administrator already. Uh, since Windows Vista, that's a new thing that is required. Uh, I don't know why, but it is, even though you're the administrator. But that's a whole other argument. So we're going to run uh, the Repaint Manager. It will come up. We're using the winglet, as you can see here. If it's non-winglet, that will not be there. You need to make sure you're using the correct uh, Repaint Manager for whatever paint you've downloaded, if it has winglets or not, and the version of Flight Simulator. Uh, we're going to uh, add a repaint. We will select our Austrian repaint here. That's beautiful, isn't it? I made that, by the way. John can't claim all the pride. I did that. Thank you, John. Uh, this box here, all it's telling you is once you install it, it's going to delete that LDX file out of the downloads folder. I always leave mine in there because I don't really care. So we're going to install the repaint. Do you wish to continue? Yes. And bada bing, we got a repaint installed. So we're going to exit our repaint manager. Double check here. There's the folder, I believe. Yeah, Oz. That's what he does. 
there it is uh, go to your aircraft config scroll all the way to the bottom it is installed you don't have to open your aircraft config I'm just showing you because I don't want to open flight simulator X you the user just open flight simulator X and it'll be there uh, we have levity 763 winglet Austrian everything's correct because we're in the correct folder so as you can see here it will show up under level D simulations 763 ER PW winglet and it will be listed as Austrian it should have its own thumbnail and it does there it is so that's what it'll look like when you open flight simulator X and uh, make sure you do check the uh, show all variations I'm going to show you that real quick here. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Daryl has so eloquently showed you here. There's the checkbox show all variations. That's what you need to have checked. Okay. So, anyhow, that's how you install a repaint to Flight Simulator X. It is the same way for Flight Simulator 9, non-winglet, winglet, whatever. You just gotta know what you're downloading and know where you have your stuff installed. Um, this is our new child by the way. Blake, or Austin Blake. I don't even know my own kid's name. Uh, we call him Austin. Uh, but anyhow, that should get you going and if you have any questions please post them in the forum after I post this video thank you bye bye